and welcome back to day 15 of Danger Llama. We're up to 76 thieving now, slowly building up that cash stack the only way I know how. Made a slight mistake in going ahead and making all four teak birdhouses and then realizing I had 44 hunter, but hey, Mabel's unlocked now, start doing those runs after this. Got a book of knowledge from the surprise exam uh, random event and <laughs> nice. Not sure if all of these, you know, 50 total levels are still something to celebrate, but hey, just got 1150 total with 78 thieving. I actually haven't been making too many clips or really referring to the big grinds I've been working on. Um, thieving is one of them, but alongside that, uh, notice my fishing level. I, it was apparent in the last video, but I never really went over it. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting close to 80. Um, I'm going to try to knock out 60 agility there at Barbarian Fishing. It's only like 30 hours left to go, I think. Um, or no, 10 hours left to go there, 30 hours left to go to my goal here uh, of 91 thieving. And after those, I'm going to finally get back to working on quests, uh, getting unlocks, and then eventually starting that Slayer grind. And speaking of that fishing grind, we're back at it. Picks up 80 and about to pick up an agility level. There we go, 58 agility, only two levels to go, uh, about 50k XP. Doing a little birdhouse run and got a hard clue scroll. So that is a beginner, easy, medium, and hard, all banked now. I should do those at some point. In case you're wondering how I vote on polls, uh, since this one is very good, it's just yes, 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 yes. Yes. Actually, I should clarify. I think I want to skip this question. I don't really have an opinion on it. I don't think it applies to very many people, um, simply because you can use the energy pots in between rounds, you can use the stamina effect and just have that roll, so that one's a skip, but everything else, definite, just, just do it, right? Just add it. Cool content. And there is 60 agility down, mostly done with fishing for the time being gonna go work on the Sears course and work towards 70 agility or so like at least 70 agility probably going for full graceful and um yeah so I mean that, that could be going all the way to 72 which unlocks uh hallowed sepulcher later on um basically not going to be focusing on fishing from now on but if I want something to afk I'm gonna come back because it is still efficient to do barbarian fishing uh for a while, it's just not something I really want to focus on. Oh, just picked up level 50 Hunter and completely missed that that's actually where you gain access to Eclectic Impling. So I can now working on that uh, medium clue grind whenever I feel like getting around to it. Been working on agility a bit and there's the graceful hood to match my gloves. So two pieces, level 62. Oh, that is something. I actually had no idea how to get Hespori seeds, but I just found one. Maybe it's farming level going up? Uh, not sure, but I, I need to learn about this, this thing. And time to pick up two more pieces of Graceful. So I have the gloves and the hood now. Time to get the cape and the boots. So I've noticed that sometimes giant seaweed patches don't give that much, even with super compost. The wiki says the average should be like 15 to 30 or something like that. Uh, and I've hit like, you know, four to six from a single patch. But this patch in particular was nuts. I got 14 from this one and I'm walking away with 60. That was a 46 seaweed patch. That is uh, a little disgusting. And after a long day of grinding, there's 70 agility. So I've now unlocked the shortcut to blue dragons. Going to be using that pretty soon. And um, yeah, I, I might stay here till full graceful, uh, considering I have four pieces and I need like 65 more marks, but it's not super high priority to me. Uh, I know some places I can use it pretty well, like mage training arena, uh, finishing that up, it'll come in handy but not really going to prioritize it just yet. Doing a few Slayer tasks. I uh, was told to get up to 50 attack in Osiris's guide, so slowly working towards that, but I mean, I got a Banshee task, so I just have to do it, but Ancient Shard coming in, 
like 20 kills here. That's um cool. Oh, ever so slightly missed the level, but there is total level 1200. And now that I'm really starting to get into the faster grinds and ho hopefully streaming again soon, uh, that's going to be like 13 or 1400 within a few days. At least, I hope. And on to task number 10, first one from Vanaka. Ogres? Uh, okay. On to day 19, now working on underground pass after picking up that 50 attack. Uh, yeah, easy peasy. Just straight ahead and... Yeah, this was the first. Only only failed one time. This was the uh, first side I tried. Underground pass completed. Ivan Staff unlocked. Uh, time to go upgrade it. Okay, this is going to be crazy expensive, but can you upgrade my staff? Here's 200k. And now I can hold 2500 charges. Time to go kill some blue dragons. Go into blue dragons and never even having to do the giant run around getting the dumb key no problem and this is why you always wear a ring of life also why you don't check your email oh my heart right now man i saw lumbridge and <clears throat> yeah so i clicked on a safe spot for blue dragons and uh it, yeah, I guess after clicking on the safe spot, because I, I did catch a glimpse right before teleporting away. I was just one tile too far forward, so I was getting meleeed. Um, not, not ideal. Okay, that's a very strange way to get a crafting level, but let's let's just make a few more of these, right? Yeah, just in case. And uh, just for future safety, let's mark that tile so I always stand there or there it's kind of insane how many people are at blue dragons on every single world i mean do you see how many hops i just went through to finally find a free space yeah okay uh hopefully finishing up here pretty soon though and here it comes the big level 43 prayer overheads unlocked uh now i can comfortably go do a few different quests okay horror from the deep done that was the one quest I was actually kind of worried about the next one I'm also kind of worried about I don't expect to finish any of these books anytime soon but hey let's go with Zamorak yeah Zamorak let's go monkey madness complete last boss was no problem though I did end up using two doses of prayer pots it's fine though time to go pick up some XP okay we focus on attack and defense and a big XP drop. There we go. 59 strength, 47 HP, 53 attack, 46 defense. 1239 total. Nice. I'm sure everyone knew this was coming, but 100k down. Let's pick up a dragon skim. Another quest down. There's wanted. Access to the White Knight Armory. I think that means I get all of the prayer equipment now, so I should probably go buy that. Ah, uh, no, what I actually need is the Proselyte set that's after Slug Menace. My bad. And ending off the night at 25 tasks done. Also past 1250 total, so I now have access to those worlds, which will surely come in handy at some point uh, fairly soon. And yeah, 55 attack, almost 56. Uh, slowly working towards that D skim. And there's Shades of Morton done. This quest is super buggy. I mean, I swear I used the 208 on this guy and then on this guy, but neither of them show up like that. Anyway, 32 herb lore. Nice. And with that ore, 51 mining. Been working on a little bit of a project here. Uh, slowly working towards 60, which I believe you need for lunar diplomacy. Yeah, 5.9k 5, 5 buckets, which I think I'll just go ahead and claim uh, 5931 or, or something. Yeah, that was, that was expensive, but it's worth it. Well, I moved my house to Palnivniche as I will need to come and do a lot of pickpocketing uh, or blackjacking fairly soon, and I'm going to continue doing uh, desert mining off in this direction. Um, I really need some GP right now as I'm going to unlock miscellanea fairly soon. The only issue is it's about to thunderstorm here and I am incredibly afraid of disconnecting and or power outage uh 
yeah, if I don't time the pickpocketing exactly right uh, to cancel potential of combat, then this is a pretty dangerous activity. So, uh, time to just go make more molten glass or something. I've already burned through like a thousand and uh, up to 53 crafting. Went and took care of all of the glass. Well, at least I made all of the glass that I'll need to get to 61 crafting for Lunar Diplomacy. And now just doing a bit of thieving, uh, just a little bit past 81 now. And that's probably where I'm going to stop for the night, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, slowly working on this thieving grind, like 3.7 mil to 91, so it's, it's going to be a journey. And still working on blackjacking, day 21 now, but up to a 750k cash stack. And there's 83 thieving taken care of. Uh, Okay, I was afraid that they were going to keep attacking me. That's enough to get my kingdom started, though I may want a little bit more GP uh, just to take care of the quests I need to get up to there, but that's the goal for the day. And this should be Hero's Quest complete. Big lump of XP and a bunch of random skills that doesn't really give much. Okay, two levels I guess. Three. Three levels. Another quest down, there's Frimnik Trials, some juicy XP drops, and that's probably another level or two. There's 50 HP. Okay, good enough. You know, I, I just had to propose that the Ring of Recoil, it's it just seemed the most fitting. And there's the big one, Throne of Miscellanea done. Already at 100% favor, by the way. Uh, time to work on Royal Trouble. And there is Royal Trouble complete. Another quest point, that should be a Slayer level to 41. Um, yeah, so it is now 11 minutes after reset. It still says I have 100% favor. So I'm going to talk here. Um, how is the kingdom faring? And let's see if I can just go ahead and throw five into herbs, uh, which I believe this is the, the distribution I should be using. It's either 10 and five or, or five and or, uh, 10 and five the other way. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for a few days at least, though, to, to build up some maples. Um, okay, let's close that. And I don't think I have anything to collect yet, but but let's see. No. Uh, yeah, so not yet. Uh, I guess my first day will be tomorrow. Cool. Just been working on some various skilling, and there is 61 crafting taken care of. So that's uh, Lunar Diplomacy uh, sorted out. Just going to keep working on the molten glass that I've already made, since I can't really remake it more efficiently with super glass make, but I'll stop after uh, what I have banked. Just working on a little bit of a farm run slash compost run. It's primarily for compost for giant seaweed, but I do do uh, two herb patches along the way, both in Catherby and then here. Um, yeah, so today I've done a good bit of AFKing. I did do a little bit of thieving to build my cash stack back up, and that's just going to have to be something to do like an hour or two of every single day, uh, at least until I start regularly slaying, uh, just because, I mean, you need money. You have to upkeep miscellanea. That's life. Uh, and I also did, I think I picked up a fishing level, and then about half of this level, it's really starting to slow down, but that's the progress for day 22 so far. I also realize it's it's about time that I go get some volcanic ash, so I think I might do that uh, immediately after this. Just go build up a stack of a few thousand to start making ultra compost instead of super. Over here working on volcanic ash, and I got a maze random. 642 chaos runes? Is that right? That is kind of nuts, actually. And 64 coal alongside it. That is a pretty sick reward for like a one minute run. Okay, 2,500, that is a good enough start for now. It's something like 25 volcanic ash into a compost bin full of compost. It'll be 15 buckets per, so it's like 1,500-ish, like 1,530 uh, ultra compost. That, that'll last a while. Just in case you're dumb like me and didn't know, you can come here to buy your steel spear for Taibo Benai Trio. Uh, this is the Mount Karum, or whatever it's called, uh, on... On Zaya, yeah, up here. I just took a uh, fairy ring CIR from the farming guild up and uh, agility shortcuts. And there is Taibo Wenai Trio complete. Um, yeah, I don't actually get the XP yet. I have to go talk to each of them. This is my first time properly using the bank at the GE, and th it just feels dirty. 
I never noticed before, but our boy Thurgo here, he's the original wide neck boy. He should have been the meme all along. There's the giant dwarf completed. Time to do a forgettable tale. First day of miscellanea, and yeah, that feels good. Only four Renars, but hey, it's a start. Um, probably gonna let these build up and only check it like every three days or so. Probably not gonna record every single time, but I just needed the maples to, uh, yeah, give me something to do while the Kelda hops grow. Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf complete. And even though I'm currently preparing to do another quest, I think this will just give me a level. Yeah, there's 45 farming and 1300 total. Also, weirdly enough, I'm at 23 million, well, almost 23 and a half million XP. So I'm kind of keeping up with my uh, kind of initial hope of a million XP per day. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to keep up with it constantly, but it's a pretty good start. And there's Garden of Tranquility done. Uh, just missing a farming level. 75 XP off. On to day 24, and I'm finally feeling well enough to stream again. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. Trying to knock out uh, about seven more quests today. Us down, Enlightened Journey. Um, that might give a level. Yeah, 62 crafting. And giant rune crafting XP coming in. Eyes of Gloff done. 25 okay yeah medium pouches unlocked nice we're now like base 25 and everything complete there's tower of life for basically no xp time to open the first beginner clue and <laughs> okay uh easy easy casket total trash and oh I was hoping. So I need a... Oh hey, Ambulator Power. That's something that I could have made, but I guess it's a technical upgrade. Still. Uh, I needed a U Long Bow or a U Comp Bow. But it gave me the U Short Bow just to, just to laugh at me. Okay. Regicide down, and now the Underground Pass is finally out of my life. Okay. Another quest done. Hand in the Sand. That one's pretty big. Access to the rune store here now so i can buy things a lot cheaper and a lot less annoying than alley and also uh, free daily sand and as i slowly creep up theming levels right now just to grind out some gp uh this is where i'm going to end off the video so my goal for day 30 is to hopefully hit 1500 before that point uh, i'm also kind of benchmarking myself against osiris's um levels his total level at different uh steps throughout his grinding uh, on his original account and uh yeah we'll see where i end up so 1500 total is the goal for at least the next video but really in the next six days or so um i have something very scary to do at the beginning of the next video actually in, in just a few hours um so y'all see that uh in the next one but for now thanks for watching and uh oh and by the way uh, i'm now back to streaming doing that daily again um yeah basically the whole duration of this video i i did not stream at all until today uh and that's solely because i was sick or uh yeah it was just uh, difficult for me to speak i still made clips here and there as as y'all could see but not nearly as often and uh not not as much speaking uh going into making clips as uh, required in streaming so anyway that's it for this one, and uh, see you in the next.